I remember yeah. in Deep Space Nine, the final episode, I always thought there would be a reboot to try to see if we can get Benjamin back from the profits. Wouldn't it be nice? I think it would be excellent. We were asked that same question on, on yesterday's panel, and the writers and creators of Deep Space Nine, they actually, in the uh, documentary, Deep Space Nine documentary, they got together in a room, and they um, uh, put together what they thought would be a synopsis for that particular episode or that particular uh, theme for a movie. I think that Deep Space Nine, um, if anything, it ended prematurely. I thought that was much more life, and I thought that we had a foundation to set. And what was beautiful about it is that a lot of people don't speak of it, but we had a black man. He was single. He was raising a black son. And he did an excellent job. And I so wanted to be a part of that journey and so that people could see that we're people too. And we're beautiful, we're profound, and we love our children, and we love our family. I think you don't have to uh, stretch so far as the science fiction genre to find that. I do think that that is quite uh, true with uh, a lot of just African American females. I mean, from the stage when they would call us mammies, uh, we were truly there. We were the leadership in our families, but not just our families. Uh, people who were not of color looked up for us, uh, up to us, because we were raising their children. So if you can uh, uh, allow someone to be in the care of your children, you must hold a deep respect for them. It, it may not be told, but there was a lot of respect that was due us because if you can put your child in the care of someone else, you, they got a lot going on.